a Tesla chip design. Uh, because in order to have a functional robot, you have to have a great AI chip. Um, and it needs to be an inexpensive chip, and it needs to be very power efficient. So we, we, we believe the uh, AI5 chip will be probably about a third of the power of, uh, say, something like a Blackwell, um, an NVIDIA Blackwell, which is a great, a great chip, um, for roughly a comparable performance. Um, and about, and, and much less than 10% of the cost. So, right, th this is a chip that is that is very much optimized for the Tesla AI software stack. So it's uh, it's not meant to be a general purpose chip. It's meant to be an amazing chip for the Tesla AI software. Um, and uh, I mean, a couple things that I think make, like, how is Tesla able to achieve such an improvement? I think it is because, uh, be because we are specialized. We're not trying to, you know, NVIDIA has to serve the superset of all past and future customers. So all of their requirements, all of the software that they've written has to work, which is a very difficult problem. Um, whereas uh, we just need to make it work for our software. Um, and, and so we were able to simplify the chip dramatically. Um, and then we, we also, uh, I think, I, th I think we're unique in this, but like we, we have an integer-based uh, system, um, and I integer operations are fundamentally more efficient than floating-point operations. So we can do floating-point, but we, but the vast majority of of our inference is done in integer, um, which is, if you're familiar with sort of logic gates, like the simplicity of of integer, and uh, it, it's, integer is much more power efficient, much more silicon efficient, um, but you have to—you actually have to train for uh, integer in, uh, inference, which ev everyone else is training for floating point. Um, those, that's kind of like a niche technical detail, but it's actually very important. So, um, yeah, this this is this is going to be a great chip. Um, so this this chip will be. Uh, made in 